Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we would like to give our praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Mutak, Mutak. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to bring this truth. Peace and salutations also to those who are sincerely taking this truth. The speckled bed to, to all, all the house of Yashar Allah who have been chosen to know this truth. Shalawam. So, it's the GMS Italia, it's the brother Yaraya and Yahawada. So we are out here today, you know, as we've been commanded to do, to feed the lambs. Okay, the lambs of Yahawah Shai, you know. There's a scripture that says, you know, my, my sheep, they hear my voice and they follow me, you know. And there is also a scripture which Yahawah Shai gave to, to, to his apostles. He said, if you love me, you feed my sheep, you know. But these churches, you know, these so-called Christians, they, they really don't understand, you know. They make plates of rice and all those things. They take them to churches thinking that's what it's talking about, man. It's talking about feeding them with this truth, you know. It's not all that goes into the mouth that corrupted the man, but what comes out of the mouth, you know, which is this truth, you know. So anyway, to go into the story, to go into the, the teaching, you know, Lately, if you're wise enough, if the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has opened your eyes, you'll be able to see that we are actually at the, at the last time, you know, and this is the time to, you know, to walk circumspect. This is the time to be careful, you know, to know what you're doing, to prepare yourself down for what's about to come, okay? We can see the devil's about to roll out, okay? The devil's are about to roll out in a heavy way, you know, just like the book of Daniel chapter 12, 1 says, you know, like a time that has never been seen before. And we are almost about that time, man. Okay. So this is the book of we're going to read from the book of Ephesians chapter 5, 15. Okay. And it quotes. We're going to read it. It quotes. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is. And be not drunk with wine wherein excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Okay. We are being asked to walk circumspectly. Now let's go into the root of the word circumspect. You know? The root of the word circumspect is akribos. Okay, so it says, you know, diligently, perfect, perfectly, you know, it says exactly, accurately, diligently, you know. So we are being taught, we are being asked to walk, you know, perfectly in this truth, man. We can't have half of the truth, you know, we can't, we can't know this truth and not know the name of the Most High and His Son, you know. We're asked to know this truth perfectly, you know, as our father, Yahweh, is perfect, you know, and he says, he says, redeeming the time, okay, because the days are evil, are the days not evil, the days are really evil, you know, lots of things are going on, you know, if you don't have the spirit, you don't see this, but if you have the spirit of the most high, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, walking in you, you can see it. You can see the, the house of Esau is on, the house of Esau is, um, they have um, a spirit of restlessness. They are always all about there, you know, coming together, doing all sorts of different meetings that we know that these meetings are just, you know, planning of how to destroy the seed of Jacob out of this earth, you know. They are up to something. Now we've been seeing lately that they are pushing so much this, um, this new variant, you know, the Delta or whatever variant, you know. Just going to censor my talk a little bit so they don't take this video down, you know. They've been pushing it so heavily, you know. Royal crown. You know, the royal crown, you know. They've been pushing this um, this thing so heavily, you know. You know, now the numbers are getting higher again, you know. They've started playing the same games that they've been playing, you know. And now the plan is actually, it's actually to get everybody, you know, watered up, you know. Everybody jabbed up, you know. 
So probably this um, this winter we're about to go through is going to be the worst winter we've ever experienced, man. Because you know, time is coming, and we believe this winter, you know, they'll be coming, you know, to pick people out of their houses and force them to take the waters, you know. Yes, like we actually, yeah, some days ago, you know, watching the TV, here in Italy, you know, you have the Prime Minister, the Dragon Man, you know. Draghi. Yes, the Dragon Man, you know. Which means Dragon. It means Dragon, Draghi, yeah, you know. And if you go deep into his story and history, you see that, you know, he's a huge piece in the hand of this wicked. He's also a wicked Edomite, you know. He uh, grew up in the school of the Jesuits, you know. Let's just cut it short and leave it there. You know, the other day he was, you know, making some mentions like, you know, I actually saw on the TV they wrote it, but I didn't hear it, hear him saying it. We were speaking and it was written as an headline, you know. We're talking about trace and jab, you know. We're talking about trace and jab because they found out that there are a lot of, you know, there's still some people at the age from the range of, you know, 60 onward that have not been jabbed yet. You know, so they're actually thinking of you know tracing these people and get them jabbed up, you know. So little by little they'll be coming down to your own age range, you know. These people are workers of iniquities, workers of darkness, you know. Just like the scripture says, you know, um, for we deal not with flesh and blood, but with um, principalities and powers in high places. You know, we are not dealing with mere humans, you know. We're dealing with principalities and powers in high places, you know. Ephesians chapter 6, yeah? yeah, and 12. And it's the most high, how about Shem Yahweh, that kept them in such position, you know? So read it, you know, read it loud. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Can, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, you know? That's, where, that's what Jake gets wrong, you know? Jake thinks that it's all about making the money, it's all about, you know, beautifying yourself, you know, it's all about getting that new boob. It's all about getting the new, the new breast and uh, and all that shit. It's all about getting, it's all about getting the new, the latest, the latest, you know, Rolls Royce and the golden teeth with with the platinum and all those things. Man, it's not about the flesh, man. Go on. But against principalities. Okay, against against principalities. You against know. Against power. Against powers. Against the rulers of darkness. Against the rulers of darkness. darkness. Okay. Of this world. Of this world. Okay. Hold on there. We, we have we have we are having a war to do against principalities powers rulers of darkness is that not enough to open up a question mark in the minds of these so-called christians you know and these so-called fake hebrew israelite groups you know example are you isc isupk you know pushing their members to go take the job okay should, so should you go and and, and and kneel down to take the job from 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 workers of darkness from principalities and workers of darkness of this world okay now it's just time just like it's re it's written here in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 15 you know see then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise men I tell you the Christians the old sect of Christianity you know they are all walking as fools man including so many um, Hebrew Israelite groups you know they are all walking as fools and this is not the time to walk as fools. Didn't the scripture tell us that um, never trust thy enemy, that as iron rusted, so is his wickedness? Didn't the scripture tell us that? You know? The scripture tells us that. The scripture tells us that there are, there are, um, um, there's also a scripture, very nice, I would like to bring. Um, it says, um, there are, Four jars of lies and yeah. read. This is the book of Job, chapter 13, verse 4. But you are fathers of lies. You are all physicians of no value. value. Can that's what I needed, man. Four jars of lies and physicians of no value. Didn't the scripture tell us that the knowledge of this world is foolishness unto the most high Yahweh but Shem Yahweh Then we want to follow a certain frouchy, you know. We want to follow what those people are speaking on the TV, you know. They've 
they've kept all these heavy taxes on our on our heads all these years you know they've inquinated the hair they've inquinated our waters they've told us lies all our lives and all of a sudden they want to save the whole world wow wow man this is really a nice one man all of a sudden they want to save you you know if they really love you like here in italy i don't know how it is in babylon the great but i guess the system is always the same you know each year that passes they increase the years in which people need to go for the so-called pension you know they always increase the years and you see that the burden is being lifted up more heavily and heavily the other day we were meditating on book of um was it um exodus chapter 5 when yeah, Moses, Moses yeah. okay, when Moses went to to to, the, to Pharaoh, he was commanded by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He went to Pharaoh, he presented himself to Pharaoh, okay, and he told Pharaoh that you need to let my people go. They have a sacrifice that they need to offer to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. What did Pharaoh say? He told the taxmasters to increase, to, to double up the job that they are right. being high do, man. Is it not what's going on, you know, when you wake up in the morning, like me, I walk 10 hours, okay, now from Monday they're reducing, they're reducing it to 9 hours, you have 24 hours in a day, okay, now if I go out to work 10 hours, I need to calculate the time I wake up before going there, you know, that's like 11, you know, calculate the time to come back home, take 1 hour again, 12, you know, then calculate the time I need to fix myself some food, you know you know 13 almost to 14 16 hours 17 hours you know just all in the service of these people then what time do i have for, for, peanuts. for peanuts man and what time do i have to 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 to, to, to understand the scriptures you know and at the same time the book of um um sirach chapter 34 verse um it says you know leisure the key word is leisure you know The key word is leisure. Okay, that's the book of Sirach 38, 24. Read. This is the book of Sirach 38, verse 24. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. Okay. And he that has little business shall become wise. Can. Okay. He cometh by opportunity of leisure. Okay. In order for you to understand this truth, there must be time created. But these people, they know all these things, you know. They put you in these jobs that, you know, you come back home destroyed. You can't even think of drinking water. You can't even think, think of anything. Then how can you just think of start reading and learning, you know? And yet, these are the people we follow. These are the people, the so-called Israelites, the so-called Negroes, um, Latinos, and Native Americans. They go after these people and they believe them so much, man. They believe every single word that comes out from their mouth, you know? And they are being carried away. And they are not walking circumspect the way it's written in the book of Ephesians 5.15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. We are not redeeming the time, you know, because many of us will believe this is the time, you know, to be the best we can be in this kingdom, you know. We get in many, many Israelites getting sold out, you know, to these people, you know, licking their boots to get pennies, you know. You get many Israelites, you know, going to join the military. You know, all for this money, you know. Many Israelites, you know, selling their souls to become whatever in this music industry. Now it's the time that everyone wants to buy a new Tesla. Everyone wants to buy a new Rolls Royce, you know. But this is not redeeming the time. Like where we come from, on the west coast of Africa, that's Nigeria, you know. People are just going all way crazy over there, you know. It's all about making the money, making the money. If you don't speak money, man, you don't talk to people, man. If you don't have money, you're not talking to people. You're, the, you're not even counted a human if you don't have money, you know? This dumb, condemned Eve, you know, if you don't have money, you can't even talk to them, man. This is what the society is. And you see, the Most High has done a great job, you know? He has always told us who these people are, just like the book of, um, of um, the book of um, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3 says, you know? The oxen, the donkey, they know their master, they know their master's creed, man. But Israel does not consider, we don't fucking consider, man, pardon my Italian, we don't consider. So we are being told, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. People don't even know, they don't even see that these days are evil, man. 
These people don't even see that these days are evil. The so-called people calling you to get you watered up, to give you the job, you know. You can't see, your eyes are blind. You can't see that they've been doing evil. They've been doing evil. Give me that tasted um, boost for me. Is that uh, the first time I read in the book of the Ephesians or from the Thessalonians or Thessalonians? Thank you. You know, they can't see. Their eyes are blind. They so trust these people. Like, for example, this is the house of Jacob for you. You know, if I, being a Hebrew Israelite, if I walk up to my own brother and I tell my brother, hey, listen, this so called white man has no good that he wants to do for you, you know, he'll push me away. He, he, he better goes off believing that devil than believing his own brother, you know. This is just the wickedness that is going on and we are not seeing it. This man has poisoned the heart of everybody. He's the real devil, man. Now, if you go into his history, he has never done anything good. All the lands that he holds, he got them by shedding blood, innocent blood, you know, stealing, raping. We don't talk about all that. We just sweep those history, we sweep them aside, man, you know. And this is the same man that wants to save you. Oh, that's really good, man. Read. This is the book of Second Thessalonians. This is the book of Second Thessalonians, verse chapter 2. I'll start from 7. For the mystery of iniquity do already, already work. So Only the, he who now let, we let until he will be taken out of the way. Okay, so what he's trying to explain there, that's the Apostle Paul, if I'm not mistaken. He was telling them that the, the, the mystery of iniquity is already working. And then he was referring to the Romans who were in power already then. And are we not still under the power of the Romans? We are still under the power of the Romans, man. Now, if you go down to the book of um, Daniel, chapter 2, no, it tells you about the statue, the so-called statue that the king Nebuchadnezzar saw. You know, the leg of iron, which the iron represents the Roman Empire. You can see the legs are divided in two, just like the Roman Empire was divided in two. You had um, the Roman Empire interior and exterior, okay? Bonjour now. Hey. Allora, sa che i veri israeliti, i veri israeliti sono i così chiamati negri, nativi americani e i latini, sa che il così uomo bianco che sta governando il mondo oggi è la stirpe della, del, del, del malvagi, sono loro i veri figli di diavolo. Sa questo? Oh, eh sì, questa è la verità che noi stiamo insegnando, perché è la verità, la verità è venuta fuori, così chiamato uomo bianco, i regni romani sono figli di Satana, sono diavoli, ok? Tutta la, lor, tutta la terra che hanno conquistato fino ad oggi l'hanno fatto spargendo sangue innocenti, hanno lutato, hanno rubato e hanno fatto mis miseria, ok? Il così chiamato Gesù, il suo nome non è Gesù. L'immagine sua non è vera immagine di Gesù. La Bibbia ti fa capire che ha il colore di bronzo bruciato, ha i capelli ricchi come lana, ok? E gli unici sulla faccia della terra che hanno queste, queste caratteristiche sono i così chiamati negri. E sappiamo che l'immagine che vediamo lì è l'immagine di Cesare Boggia, il figlio del sesto Papa, ok? Che era un tirano, ha ucciso suo fratello, è stato a letto con la propria sorella, ok? Il suo amante segreto era Leonardo da Vinci e sono così chiamati questa, 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 questa gente che ci stanno fino ad oggi governando. Ok? E purtroppo sappiamo. Ah, sapete? No, l'intelligente è venuta dal bianco. No, l'intelligente non, non è venuta dal bianco. I bianchi si chiamano i caucasi, ok? Loro vengono dalle montagne di Caucaso, ecco perché si chiamano i Caucasi. Qui in Europa hanno governato i mori più per più di mille anni e questi mori hanno portato la scienza, la conoscenza. I bianchi una volta qui non lavavano i denti, non facevano la, de la doccia. Loro morivano da diverse peste, si potevano curare solamente con il limone. I mori, che sono i figli di Israele, hanno portato conoscenza a questa gente. E cosa è successo? Nel tempo di rinascimento, parlo da, dalla fine di 1400, sono tornati in potere, ok? Infatti gli ultimi quattro re d'Aragona, se guarda la bandiera di Sardegna, vede quattro teschi, 
Sono i quattro ultimi re che sono stati decapitati dai così chiamati uomini bianchi. Ok? E loro cosa hanno fatto? Hanno cercato di riscrivere la storia fino a, fino a oggi. Tutto quello che ci fanno vedere oggi è propaganda. Non è vero che l'uomo bianco è intelligente. L'intelligenza, anzi, i così chiamati negri hanno portato l'intelligenza all'uomo bianco. L'uomo bianco è uomo di caverna. La caverna è la sua casa, è la propria casa. Eh sì, è. ecco perché si chiama Caucaso, perché vengono dalle montagne di Caucaso, ok? Loro vivevano dentro queste, queste caverne, loro sanno la loro storia, loro sì. sanno la loro storia, noi sappiamo la nostra storia, ok? Hanno dovuto venire nel 70 dopo, dopo la morte di Cristo a casa nostra a, a, a uccidere, a, 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 a rapinare le donne, a portare via. Lei sa che il primo Colosseo eh, costruito qui, il primo Colosseo, l'hanno fatto con i soldi che hanno rubato a casa nostra in Gerusalemme. Lo sa questo? L'impero Tito, ok? Con il suo comandante Alessandro, Alessandro Tiberio, ok? Sono venuti e hanno fatto un bel macello uccidendo gente. Allora mandando via i veri figli di Israele, mandandoli via dalla loro terra. Molti sono sfuggiti in Africa, ora è arrivato, sono arrivati sempre in Africa a prenderci e portarci in America, a venderci. Avete tanto da pagare perché il figlio del padre, il vero figlio del padre, torna. E torna questa volta con, con distruzioni. È già tornato a morire per i peccati, ma questa volta viene per uccidere i peccatori, okay? che sono i così chiamati uomini bianchi che hanno distrutto tutto. Se loro sono i veri figli di, del padre, tutte le leggi che il padre ha costruito, loro hanno fatto una legge contraria a ogni legge. Sa questo? La Chiesa, il Vaticano, sa che sono falsi, sono profeti falsi, lo sa questo? Eh sì. Comunque l'italiano, l'italiano è sparso dappertutto il mondo per aiutare. No, per no, no, no. no, 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 l'italiano non è mai sparso nel mondo per aiutare. L'italiano è sparso nel mondo solo per rubare e uccidere e creare confusione. Ah. Africa, Africa si chiama Africa perché non è... Perché... I missionari che sono in Africa. Ma che missionari? Ah, quelli, là, quelli là sono dei no. ladri, sono, no. sono, portano menzogne, no. ok? No. Non, sono, non sono gente vera. Sappiamo questa storia qui, ok? Africa si chiama Africa perché c'era un, un comandante italiano che si chiama Leo Scipione Africanus. È arrivato lì. È arrivato e come fanno lì. sempre? Come fanno sempre? Come fai ad arrivare in una terra, vedi un popolo lì e dici che ho scoperto questa terra qui? Non è, non è rubare e portare bugie da generazione a generazione. È solo questo che ha fatto l'uomo bianco. Eh, questo è il suo mestiere, lo sa fare bene. È andato in America. America si chiama America perché è andato un comandante, è un Vespuccio Amerigo. E lui l'ha chiamato e ha detto ho scoperto questa terra. Ma come cavolo hai fatto scoprire questa terra se c'era già popolo molto più avanzato di tuo? Sì, ma la E che cosa hanno fatto? Hanno ma creato... lascio perdere perché... No, non no, lascio no. perdere. Questa è la verità. Noi, noi siamo chiamati per dire questa verità, ok? Per svegliare i veri figli di, di, di Israele. I veri figli di Israele sono i così chiamati negri, nativi americani e i latini. E sono loro che governeranno, ok? La Bibbia dice... Con Israele noi siamo amici. No, Israele che è lì è Israele falso. Sappiamo quando sono entrati là, nel 1948. Sono falsi quelli là, non sono i veri figli di Israele. I veri figli di Israele sono stati mandati fuori dalle loro terre, dispersi, presi come schiavi in tutti, in tutti i paesi. Sappiamo che loro sono i falsi. Sappiamo che Israele non è la loro casa. E sappiamo che sono i figli di Amalek, la stirpe malvagia che viene da Esaù, ok? E la sua nascita è registrata nella Bibbia. Il padre sta facendo un gran lavoro che noi che siamo in meno, in nulla di questa terra, che siamo sfruttati addosso, i, oh. i poveri di questa terra, oh. il padre ci ha dato la in, conoscenza in adesso. Italia, Ora vediamo... In Italia sei qua perché ti abbiamo ricevuto? Ma che, ma che, sa che questa terra non è neanche la terra degli italiani? Lo sa? Europa era la terra degli etruschiani, ok? 
Voi avete ucciso quei popoli sparsi come sempre e avete preso la loro terra, ok? Questa è la storia, voi non avete mai fatto niente del giusto. Ma che cosa è l'evoluzione? Si può dire del mondo, del mondo. Allora la faccio una domanda. È sempre portato, è sempre stato portato una buona via, quella della, della Bibbia. No, no, del ma non è della non... Bibbia giusta. Sì. Si uccidono fra di loro, ogni anno si La faccio una domanda, se io vengo a casa sua, se io vengo a casa sua, ma ok? Sì, ma là, dalle, in Africa si uccidono fra di loro, Ma che, perché, popolo... sa perché, sa perché? Perché l'uomo bianco è sempre in mezzo a queste cose qui, ha messo la testa contro testa a questa gente sì, qui. Bisogna portare No, non ha mai civiltà. portato fatto, non ha mai portato civiltà. Allora, lei non è qui per insegnarmi, ne oh. siamo noi a, a doverla Neanche insegnare queste insegno, cose qui. Letto, siamo noi a doverla insegnare, la, perché la verità ce l'abbiamo noi. L'uomo bianco non ha portato civiltà. L'uomo bianco è l'uomo più salva selvaggio di questo bianco, mondo. Il bianco, il bianco è il diavolo. Come italiano, è come italiano, <ride> il bianco è un diavolo. Okay. Se non ci siamo noi, e poi non c'è ma che moriremo da fame certo, ma che dicono, you see this is exactly what we're talking about i bambini vengono per fare per fare l'università di prendere una ma che una, ma che dottori vengono in Italia eh, vedi 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 questo, questo questo è il classico Ok, voi adesso volete, volete no, lasciare il passato, no, ma medicina e tutte queste cose no, sono i muri che vi l'hanno portato. No, non avete mai inventato niente. Ma non abbiamo mai inventato niente. Se non lo che... Allora, vedi, vedi, scusa, la chiedo scusa. Con tutto rispetto, con tutto, anni, oh. con, tutto, con tutto rispetto, si vede che il Signore è proprio ignorante di tante cose. No, si dice no, che l'uomo no, 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 no. non ha mai inventato niente. La bolbina ha inventato l'uomo nero, ok? internet che stiamo usando l'ha inventato l'uomo nero ok tante invenzioni ma sai il problema vostro quando l'uomo nero inventa qualcosa lo uccidete perché voi volete prendere sempre la gloria di tutto questo è l'uomo bianco non ha mai fatto niente di giusto niente di buono lui uccide e ruba l'uomo bianco è un diavolo è un ladro ha sempre fatto questo questa è la sua storia ora non sono qui per discutere perché parlando con me ho visto che lei non conosce molte, con, conosce proprio poco perché conosce quello, con, conosce la storia come è scritto dall'uomo bianco, ok? Ma l'uomo bianco non può venire a casa mia a fare delle cose e poi scrivere la storia di nuovo. La storia, la verità verrà sempre fuori, ok? L'uomo bianco non ha portato la medicina, i mori hanno portato la medicina, i mori sono stati qui a Venezia ancora fino a fare qualche centinaio di anni fa. La terra di Venezia non è, sì. è costruita dai uomini bianchi, eh? sì. è costruita dai così chiamati negri, mori, ok? Questa è la verità. Questa allora. è la verità che dovete insegnare ai vostri figli che avete lapidato, la avete, avete rubato, avete ucciso. Però da gente che lavora. Ma che da gente? Le teste che hanno fatto la, hanno fatto la, erano dei grandi, dei nostri, ma che siamo dai? I uomini, bianchi, anche... I uomini bianchi non hanno mai lavorato per niente, vanno a rubare, sì, vanno a uccidere i popoli e prendono il controllo di tutto. Se Questo è l'uomo bianco. Via se andate via dall'Africa ci sarà pace perché siete state facendo i tutti sì, ma, tutti, ma che, ma che, ma che, siete, siete arrivati lì, avete portato gli armi e tutto, sappiamo la verità, sa. queste cose li può, li può raccontare a, ai suoi, ok? Di queste cose li può raccontare ai suoi perché la verità li conosciamo, i padri ci ha dato lo spirito della verità. Vedi, il suo cane dice anche che ha ora di ore, ok? È ora di andare via, infatti. Sei un buon predicatore, però io penso in un modo pare che la polizia ti trovi. Va bene, noi, noi non ci fa niente. La polizia può fare tutto quello sei che vuole fare. Sei nascosto. Eh, non siamo nascosti, siamo per le strade. Infatti, infatti, questa verità è quello che brucia principati e poteri, ok? Questa è la verità. Qua non si deve deve metterci a eh, ma nascosti. chi dice nascosti. chi dice non Io sono dico. nascosto ma signore mi, mi vedete nascosto sono, sono messo qui come, 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 come faccio a essere nascosto 
Vede, vede, vede che questa stirpe è malvagia, questa stirpe è malvagia, gli, gli, gli è dentro il sangue. Noi, noi capiamo, noi, noi capiamo che lei è, un, è, è una stirpe dei malvagi e viene dal linaggio del figlio di Esaù. Sappiamo, e deve sapere una cosa, deve sapere una cosa, sa cosa, sa cosa, sa cosa. Il vostro tempo è giunto, ok? Ah. Perché torna il figlio del padre sì. e voi andrete in schiavitù come avete preso in schiavitù gli altri. Sì. Questo è il vostro giudizio, Mamma come dice mia. le scritture, non l'ho detto io. Ok? Chi porta in schiavitù andrà in schiavitù. Chi uccide sì. con le spade morirà dalla spada. E no. questo è il vostro no. futuro. No. Andrete in schiavitù. Ok? Grazie. Ciao. Andrete in schiavitù come dice il padre, ok? Tutte queste Vada. cose li può, può andare a raccontare Vada. a qualcun altro perché Vada. a noi non, non ci interessa. È venuta lei, non ci abbiamo Vada. chiamato. Sei Vada. venuta, vuoi sapere cosa stiamo parlando? Ti abbiamo detto. Non Io importa, Io lei non si deve preoccupare di me, non si è mai preoccupato tu, di me. In tu, questo momento è banale, è banale. Tu stai parlando e dire male della nostra civiltà. Sì, la vostra civiltà ha fatto solo male, è la verità, scusami. È la verità. È la verità, è scritto dappertutto, siete la stirpe malvagia, avete rubato terre, avete ucciso, avete... siete dei ladri, siete tutto, ok? Siete la stirpe dei figli stai, di Satana. Stai, stai attento, io non voglio portarti male. Ma faccia tu quello dici, che può, è il padre tu, che controlla tu, tutto. Tu e il padre può tu. decidere di prendere la vita di chiunque quando vuole. Noi crediamo. Ok. Noi Voi crediamo, potete solamente uccidere la, la mia pelle, eh, ma il mio spirito non riuscite a fare niente. Io sta. Il negro, non negro, ma che non sì, non sì, non ma non siamo io. uguali, non siamo uguali. Sì, sì, c'è sì, sì, una differenza tra, tra noi, ok? Si sente Dio proprio a, a pelle, si sente. Ma non siamo uguali. Per darle a tutti. Ma che Ma per dare da mangiare a tutti? Ma che eh sì, avete ma lapidato, sì. ucciso, rubato? Ah. E ora, ora, ok. Grazie, ciao, ciao. Abbiamo chiuso con lei. Stiamo facendo una lezione, grazie. Se ci può lasciare, farebbe. Lei è venuto fuori e ha fatto questo discorso. E io domando se avete permesso di farlo. Ho il permesso di mettere il mio telecamera e lei che Stati, è venuto da me. Stati, sì. No, io qua sono in strada. E sei venuto da me, capire, sei venuto da me, ti sei fermato. Vedi, questa è la stirpe malvagia, questa è la stirpe di Satana. Questa è la stirpe di Satana, questa è la stirpe malvagia. Vada via no. signore, grazie. No, no, dite di fame. Sì, no, sì, no, sì. No, Tra no, poco no, morirete no, anche no, voi di fame perché andrete in schiavitù. No, Ciao. No, So as you can see, Kalala Yahabashem Yahushabashem Kakodash. That's a beautiful example of a devil, as we were saying. Okay? The man walked up to me, okay? He asked what we were all about. So I started telling him that does he know that he's so-called white man? Because I can feel his spirit that is a fucking Edomite, you know? I told him they are the devils of the earth, you know? And power is going to be translated from from them and given back to us. He doesn't like all these things that I was saying. He started saying that, you know, they brought peace to the world. Without, without them, there wouldn't be peace in Africa and all those things. So I tried to school him a little bit. And I gave him, he saw that he can't tell me all those bullshit, you know. And the things started getting to cut him, you know. So he started telling me that I can't stay here. Uh, the, the police sees me or whatever. Oh, to hell with the police, man. The police, I told him that the police can kill only my flesh. But they can't kill my spirit, man. That's the highest they can do, man. You know. So this is just what we're talking about. You can see them. This, this that's just a, a, a seed of the wicked, 1948. Uh, you know, I told him that those that they are claiming to be the real Israelites, they are not the real Israelites. We know when that state was created. We know who they are. You know, so he can't hide behind the shadows of the missionaries. He told me that what about the missionaries that are going all over Africa? You know, helping people. I told him those are devils, man. <laughs> I told him those are devils. So this is how powerful this truth could be. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai I'm going to do a lesson on this recording that we just had, you know, and break things down. So you can get the dynamics of these devils, man. You can see what just happened today, you know. Oh, glory to the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, he put the spirit in us, gave us this knowledge. Our knowledge is so powerful that these people cannot stand our knowledge, man. When they come with their bullshit, we cut them with the truth and they run away, you know. 
they run away. He said they, they, they brought peace in Africa. He said they brought peace in Africa with their missionaries. He said if they leave Africa, then people will be killing themselves. I told him, man, if you leave Africa, there will be peace, man. <laughs> I told him, you people are the people who went there. You are the ones behind all these, mm. all these propagandas, man. He thinks he's speaking to an average yeah, Negro, yeah. an average Jake. That's what we're saying. Jake needs to wake up, man. Redeem the time and wake the hell up, man. Let's Things are about to go down, man. Have a, have a book yeah, give me this precept. What, what the scripture says about read, read out, man. This is the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Hold it there. The thief cometh not, but to kill, to steal and to destroy. Now, take the, the so called white man. Take his, all, all his civilization and all everything, his all his history, and just put it on that scripture there. And tell me who he fits. Does he fit the Negro man? The Negro man never went to kill and steal other people's land. The Negro never did all these things. It's the so-called white man, okay? That is his history. And they are so ashamed of the history, you know? He told me they were superior. I told him, how can you be superior if you come from the Caucasus, from the mountains of Caucasus? You were cave dwellers. I told him you are called Caucasians because you dwelled in caves, man. Go on. I am, to, I am come that they my house life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Can Yahweh Shai is come so we can have life, and that life He has already given it to us. Regarding to the book of um, regarding to the book of Ezekiel, the dry bones. You know, we were dry bones before we were zombies without this truth, without this truth. But through His apostles of the great millstone, you know. And the ones that were before them, you know, through the elders and the teachers, you know, this truth has come to this part of this world. We have life now. We have life. This truth means everything to us, you know. This truth is life. This truth is spirit. It's powerful. You see, this truth stands against principalities and powers, man. And I'm telling you people, you brothers, you know, prepare your minds for what's about to come, okay? As the scripture says, you know, be wise as a serpent and harmless as a, as a dove. You know, but don't be afraid of anybody or anything. You know, you should only be afraid of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He's the highest power. He's the one controlling these people because what these people do is they come and they try to intimidate you. Okay, they try to intimidate you with some bullshit. You know, but if you fall for this, then you you you, you fall off, man. Remember the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Remember the story of Daniel. These were men that they stood. They were taken to the face of death. They didn't even, they didn't even give up, man. Remember, remember the Maccabees brothers, you know, who the, the whole family was killed for the truth. So, man, just be ready, man, because he who shall save his life shall lose it, and he who shall lose his life shall save it. This is what the scripture says. You have another precept? Yeah, like what, no. what the man was saying. He said that he, they brought peace. He in said Africa. they brought peace. Yes, yeah, speak out, man. You know, they brought peace in Africa, but we all know the history. You know, when they came to Africa, we all know what they did speak to out. our people. We know what, how we lost our identity our heritage you know they told, and the us, and the they thing told is, us that our 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 ways is not is not pure you know it's, it's, it's they told uh, us we are savages you know, you know yeah we are primitive we know yes. nothing you know so they they, they they condemn all our 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 tradition our, our customs, cultures you know so and the funny thing is this is exactly what they always do give you and uh, they give you this such such um, excuses that we came to give you um, c c uh, uh, civilization then how the hell did you give us civilization when we brought civilization to Europe? Go on, please give me. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth we are smoother than butter. Can the words of his mouth are smoother than butter, man? This is how this this dead, dead, you know, washed out pale skin motherfuckers come, you know? They speak, they speak, they try to and you know what the scripture says about us, you know, because once you see something like this, you start getting roused up, you know, you start speaking out, you know. It says, the scripture says, um, 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 oppression, oppression, make it, a, make it a wise man mad, man. And this is exactly what goes on. They come with this soft talk. That's how they do. They speak on TV. They wear their suits and ties, you know, and they speak soft words. They speak gently. And this is what catches, you know, Jake. Jake falls for all this bullshit, man. Jake falls for this for this effeminate motherfuckers, man. Pardon my Italian. So go on. But war was in his heart. War was in his heart. Didn't this man come with war? 
it came at the it came it came it came at the it came at the beginning, you know, speaking soft words as if it came with peace. But all his intention was to make war, to inform me that the police the police can come and arrest me, to inform me that they are superior than us to this, you know. The spirit was actually on me. I could feel the spirit already. So when he came, I started cutting him, you know. Cut him, man. Go on. His words we are softer than oil. His words are softer than oil. And that's how they persuade Jake to come and kill. Take this job, man. Take these waters, man. They don't force you yet, but the time is coming where they will force your asses, man. But now they come, they speak cool words. They even promise to give you a donut. They promise to, 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 to give you a, a, a gun so you can kill yourself. They promise to give you free weed so you can always destroy your, your brain. You know, this is what they do. When they came to the Americas, to our brothers, the Rubenites, the Gadites, you know, what did they do? They came as if they were, they were peacemakers. All before you know all of a sudden, they gave them, they gave them covers with chicken pox in it and exterminated our brothers, man. We know these people, we know them. You can't hide from what you are. You are the devils of the earth. The so-called white man is so, you know. This is what they do and they're perfect in doing this. And once you speak to them, they come, they speak as if they try, they tell, they push those buttons that makes you mad because you're a wise man. Go on. Yet, we are dead drawn sword. Can. They have drawn sword in their mind. At least give me that, that precept that says they, 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 they believe that their houses are going to be forever. Okay, they have drawn sword. They have drawn sword. You know, these people they still have a perpetual hatred for us. You know, hear what he was saying. He was saying everything with you know some kind of wickedness. You people will die of hunger if we leave you. You die of hunger. Excuse me. You brought the world hunger. You made the world hungry today. So-called white devils. You know. So hey. Akiams and a few aquas in this show, you know, get prepared for what's about to come, you know. The devil is ready to roll out, man. He's ready to roll out like a madman, sparing no soul, you know. Coming out with a fury on you, man. It's really going to be a wicked winter because this winter is really going to be a heavy one, man. Heavy one. So prepare your spirits, prepare your souls, man. Call on the name Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's the only name that can save under heaven and under earth, you know. Go. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Can. Your inward thought is that your houses shall continue forever. Okay. And their dwelling places to all generations. That they is, call their land after their own name. That is what they believe. They believe that their houses, their kingdom is going to reign forever. But no, Yahweh is coming with fury. That's what I told him. I told him that he's going back into slavery. I told him he can say all he wants now. I told him that whoever kills with the sword shall die by the sword. And this is this is the fate of the saint, man. The fate and the patience of the faith uh, 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 of the saints, man. They believe they are going to rule forever. They believe the so-called black man, as we are on our degenerated point, they believe we will never come up again. You know? But Yahweh Shai is going to surprise these motherfuckers, man. When the chariots start coming down, you know, and destroying them pouring down you know concentrated fire on them then they will know that men they've actually touched the apple of the most high's eyes man i have known all nations um i have not known all this any nation only you have i known give me that precept please this is the book of amos chapter three Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Ah, the Most High said, We are the only people he has known of all the families. You know, these other nations, they are, they are, they are created just like, um, how do you put it? You know, when you have a movie, you have the main cast, and you have the, the, the main cast, which is the, 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 the good guy and the bad guy, and you have the remaining people just to make the movie, you know. These people are just nothing to the most high, you know. The book of Isaiah says it, you know. The book of Ezra, it says it, you know. The book of Isaiah also says it. The book of Isaiah also says it. Say, he says you are as a, as a drunk and a spittle, man. You know, these other nations are nothing to the most high. 
We know that the Most High is here for us, for the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, the people who have always been at the bottom, you know. This white man cannot imagine in his brain that the black man come up. He can never imagine that. That's going to be a nightmare for him. And it's going to be a nightmare for him, man. This is how great the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is, you know. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is great, man. <laughs> hey, y'all better start fearing the Lord, man, you know. Y'all better start fearing the Lord. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. Because it's going to it's going it's going to surprise these people, man. It's going to really surprise them. Hold on, let me see. It's really going to surprise these people because they believe they're going to be here forever. They believe they're going to be here forever. You know? They believe the so-called white man and uh, the so-called black man, which are the true Israelites, they believe they're going to be at the bottom forever. And they believe they can hide all their wicked deeds that they've done in the past. They believe they can just sweep it under the carpet, man. This is how they become Roman. They took everywhere. They took really? everything, man. Even South Africa. We all saw what happened in South Africa. It's not the most I have ever They could have taken everything. Yes. They think, we don't, they think we don't know all these things, how they come into countries That's and they create true. two different separate groups and make problems with the people and, and, and they stand back and act as if they're the ones bringing the peace, man. We know you fucking motherfuckers, man. We know you damn white devils, man. Pale skin. I Shashua, we know you, man. I Shashua, we know you. We know you wherever we see you. The spirit, the spirit spots it, you know, because it's it's written right from the beginning that, you know, it shall make two nations divided, you know. Yeah. And when we see you, we know you. We feel, we feel the, we feel the energy. We feel that negative energy coming, you know. Yahaba Shem Yahshayatazza. I'm going to make an extra video because you don't really need to see what this. This Aishashua, this dead Aishashua was saying, you know? Trying to, trying to, trying to, uh, how, uh, what's the word? It's, um, it's trying to threaten me, you know? Trying to intimidate me, that's the right word. Trying to in intimidate me, you know? Because they are the powers that be now, you know? So, hey, this is the time. It's so called white man. Enjoy, enjoy your kingdom as much as you can because it's the end, man. It's the dumb end of your kingdom, you know? Hey, man, you know, Jake's the most high, Jake's is really, Jake's are really hungry, man, because in that kingdom, this white man is going to fucking suffer, man. Lots of people, you know, what you've done to us, you know, we shall reward to you 10,000 times back, man, you know? And this is what it is, you know? They say oppression make it a wise man mad, man. These people, they will come over and they rouse up your spirit, man, you know? Hey, we should be ready to die for this truth, man. We should be ready for whatever because, you know, the book of Revelation says that some of us are going to be closed in prison. Some of us are going to be killed, man. Prepare your heart, man. He who shall save his life shall lose it and he who shall lose his life shall save it, man. This is the time to start preparing yourself and calling on the name Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to, to protect you, to give you that spirit to be able to stand whatever that comes, you know. You know, this truth is not for effeminate men, man. This truth is not for feeble men. This truth is for real hardcore men, man. Give me a precept, please, read out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, read verse 28. And fear not them who kill the body. Can. But are not able to kill the soul. Can. But rather, fear him who is able to destroy both soul and the body. So who the fuck is this soul to come and threaten me, man? The highest thing it can do is just to kill my body. But then we've been told to, 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 to behave ourselves well, you know. We should, we should agree immediately with someone in power that can kill us, you know. But when we agree with him and he's trying to let us go off what we are not meant to go, you know. We stand on our rights, man. You know. All they can do is to kill our body. Then you need to fear him who can kill both the body and the soul. And that's your how about shame your outside. You know, and I told the man, it got him really mad because as I was bringing the history back, you know, I told him, do you think that the so-called Jesus that you worship, do you think is the so-called white man? I told him if the Bible says that he has bronze skin, he has, he has woolly hair, why do you depict him white? Do you think I don't know about the, 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 the Renaissance, the time of the Renaissance when you did all that fuckery, you know, you take all the pictures of the saints and you painted them your own image? 
they think we don't know all these things. They think they can just sweep in all this history under the rug, man. We have another precept. I think we're going to close up very soon. Let me get a precept here. Okay, give me the book of um, Revelation chapter chapter 18. Okay, go. Give me. Okay, painting the images. Okay, go. This is the book of Maccabees. First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. And lay open the book of the law, wherein the heading has sought to paint the likeness of their image. Can. This is where they begin, they, be they started doing all this wickedness, you know. They took the book of the law, which is the scriptures we have, the Torah. They started painting the images of their own liking, you know. This is what the white man has always done. Deception, deception. All he has is true deception. He has never gotten anything naturally. He needs to kill, steal and destroy and deceive you. Now, to just close up this lesson, let's just read a little bit of what's coming up, you know. So, let's read from the book of um, Revelation chapter 18. We read from the first verse. And we'll see where we can stop. We're not going to go through everything. Just pick some few points. The book of Revelation chapter 18, verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lighting was lighting, lighting with his, his glory. glory and he, he cried mightily with a strong voice saying Babylon the great is falling is falling and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bell and this is literal man this is just the end it's the apostle it's the apostle John you know being given this vision on the island of Patmos you know where he was sent on i on 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 exile you know and this is just the vision of how the end is going to be this fucking white man thinks his kingdom is going to win forever man and it's going to be to his greatest surprise man you know he says and he saw he saw the heaven having great powers and the earth was lightened with his glory this is the after effect of destruction you know and babylon which is the united states which is the one dragging all these motherfuckers into the all these things dragging the nato nations the, the, the so-called Idumia where we are living, you know, they are all part of his arms, you know. The Most High is going to destroy them all, but greatly, mostly, America is never going to be habitated again. It's going to be a desert, you know. Go on. Verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are vexed rich, I waxed rich through the abundance of the of her delicate Can. delicacies. Okay. Can. All countries, all these countries, European countries, they've participated with her. They've been on bed with her. You know? They've done everything together in order to to to, to destroy to destroy each um, Jacob. Don't we have the scripture that says, you know, uh, why does why do the aiding rage? Eh? Why do the hidden rage, you know? Why they why why do they imagine a vain thing? They have thought to, to cancel Israel from the face of the earth, you know? They have this secret where they, 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 they have them together in their fucking secret societies. In which they don't even have any secret, man. Your secret is being leaked to everybody. The average Esau, Edomite, the average Jake knows about the secrets of the Illuminati, man. You know? So just give me one more. One more, one more, one more, um, two more verses and we close up, you know. This is Psalm, this is Psalm 2, verse 1. Can. Why do the hidden rage? Why do the hidden rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Can. An example of what he's saying, the, the kings of the world and the rulers they meet themselves. An example is the G7 you just saw. You think that the G7 they are speaking of how to make life better for you? Hey, man, you better rethink again. 
you better re rearrange your brain if you think they sat down to think of how to make things better for you. This is same so-called devils. They've decided to give you the waters, okay? Because they, they suddenly, all of a sudden, they love you. They've hated you all this, all, all your all your existence. They've hated you, and all of a sudden, they just love you, man. Man, you really need to be a special kind of dumb to go after these people, man. Go on. Verse three. Let us break their bounds asunder and cast away their curse from us. Can they want to break our bands asunder. They want to break our tribe and break our family. They want to break our covenants that we have with Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They want to break our cultures. This is what they've always done. They want to do all these things and let us be dispersed how we are dispersed, you know? Verse 4. He that seated in heaven shall laugh. Can. The Lord, the Lord shall have them in derision. Can. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath. Can. And bless them in his sore displeasure. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is not pleased even if we're going through all these things, you know? And what we're going through is we are just paying for our sins, man. Because we are some messed up, jacked up people, man. We are the most wicked of all these people, man. But this is just this is just the, the, the love that the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has for the house of Israel. The house of Israel is a filthy bitch. The house of Israel is a filthy bitch, man. We've gone a warring with all other gods of all nations. And we've always done this right from the beginning. Whenever we just get a little comfortable, the first thing that comes to our mind is to go after all these kingdoms and after all, 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 all the teachings and evil of all, all, all gods of other, all, other nations, you know? The house of Israel is a filthy bitch, man. A female dog. We go after everything, but we don't want to go after the, the true names of our father. We don't want to go after our heritage. We don't want to go after our laws and statutes. But we want to go after every other thing, man. Go on. This is the book of Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, Can. that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Can. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Can. Verse 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Can. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Can. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy fame. Yes, all, 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 the end is coming, man. So he's speaking about the daughter of Edom, the so-called Edomites that are, that are ruling now, you know. They are delicate, they are beautiful, everything. They think they are beautiful and whatever. You know, the Most High is going to expose them. That is the nakedness he's talking about. All the evil they've done, everything will be exposed, you know. There is also a scripture that says that day shall not come except the man of the sin be, be revealed. That's the precept, that's, that's the book of, is it Matthew? Second, Second Thess Thessalonians, you know. He said that day shall not come except the man of sin shall be revealed, you know. So all their sins, all their wickedness shall be revealed. As I said earlier, the, 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 the average Edomites, the average Drake knows already about the secrets, you know. And when Yahweh Shai comes, you know, it's going to take off the crown from you. Take off the glory and put it back on the daughter of Zion, you know. We have been, we have been, we have been suppressed all these years. We have been slaves, we've been seen as nothing, as scumbags, called all different names, man. And all this thing is going to end. I just can't wait to be in the, in the, in the kingdom and smack the motherfuckers like this. Would he even be able to stand in my son in the kingdom? If we have one more precept, let's close this lesson because it's getting very, very, very long. Then see that I believe we've been with us today. This is the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin and the falling, the falling away has already taken place. You know, the falling away has taken place when we were being dispersed. You know, we were being dispersed. That's 70 AD, you know, that's the last falling away. And that falling away is so heavy that we are still feeling the effects even till date. We've never recovered from that falling away, you know. And the man of sin shall be revealed. Now the man of sin is being revealed, you know. Now even the so-called white man knows that the white man has no good intentions towards him, you know. Finish up. Okay.
Read the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. Chapter verse 9. Go. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Turn. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Turn. He that killeth with the sword shall must be killed, die, with, the killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Turn. This is the patience and the faith of the saints. And this is what is keeping us firm in this truth because we know the Most High has promised us, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has promised us that those who kill by the sword, which is the so called white man who has destroyed our tribes, the so called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos, they've destroyed us by their sword, okay? And now they're about to give us the last destruction with their sword, their small sword. You know what I'm talking about, you know? And he who, who takes into captivity, they've taken us into captivity. We are still in captivity, shall go into captivity, man. This is what keeps us strong today. This is what gives us the power to come out and teach. This is our hope. This is our hope. This is our faith. This is our this is our career, man. This is our dream. You know, and we can't wait for the return of our king, Yao Shai. That's why you all need to straighten up, man, because the time is not is no longer long, man. It's no longer long. It's a short time, just like the book of Ezekiel, is it 13 or 12? You know, he's saying. Tell those those people that are teaching in the house of those fake prophets that are teaching in the house of Israel that are telling the people that these visions are for a longer time. They will not come, man. To your to your greatest surprise, man, you'll be rudely awakened. You know, we hope this lesson has been edifying. We hope you know this message gets through to a brother. You know, Yahaba Shemi Al Shai Rataza. We're going to do I'm going to do an extra lesson on you know my conversation with that Aishashua the Edomite, okay? So, after saying this, I would love to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rukakudash. A double honors to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. Salawam, oh. peace. So also the few aquats, you know, and those who are sincerely seeking this truth. On to the next one. Shalawam. Shalawam. Shalawam.